Hi all, I wanted to do a quick video based on this uh, this illustration that I did the other day. Um, dynamic, soft bodies coming in, um, colliding with each other. Very simple sort of Houdini setup. So I'm going to try and go through so you don't have to re-watch the video like I've watched a few before and as the instructors explain in them, I've always found that I've had to watch or rewatch about three or four times. So the point of this video is to try and break it down into a slower pace. You could just follow and hopefully do. So let's start off with right mouse clicking and type in geo. So it's context search is really good on Houdini. So I click geo or geometry. And that's created my geometry node. Dive in. Press tab, it's the same as right mouse click. I type sphere, um, and I just want to do sphere create. And this is going to be my volume basically. So I'm going to scatter points within the sphere. Um, but I just want to now make a copy of this. So holding Alt key down, left clicking and dragging across, I've now created a copy. And these are going to be our our spheres to copy onto the, the volume. So double click on the name and just type vol for now. This sphere is now too large because it's the same size as the volume. So I'm going to just drop this down to 0.1. Okay, so that's now. Let's do a template. That sphere when scattered will all fit in there nicely. You can have about 25 copies or so. So drag a node off and press tab. And this time I'm going to do VDB PO. Um, I'm looking for VDB from polygons. Click. Um, and let's just click that um, visible display render node and I don't want surface I want fog um, and for voxel size I'm just going to put down to 0 0.01 so the scatter will work better um, when it's more faded to the edges it scatters less in that area I've noticed so drag off tab type scatter oh. or scat and that drops down the scatter node. If we click on it, now let's turn the template off. Lots of points. So I'm just going to go for 25. Happy with that. Now what I want to do, oh, I've pressed L there and that just um, changes the layout, neatens it up. I want the sphere over here. I'm going to drag down from this one this time. I'm going to do copy PO. So that gives me copy to points. Uh, hasn't done anything yet because we need to add this node to it. So now we've scattered the points on there. You can see that's pretty tight. Um, if you do get intersecting um, points, then the vellum. Uh, Vellum soft body doesn't work so well. It thinks they're both combined. So just be wary of that. That's for another video perhaps. So we've got that. I'm just going to drag down from copy to points. Press tab and type vel. Vel BA gives me vellum config balloon. Click. Um, I'm going to leave the default values. Basically it's just to get up and running and off this node here, tab, type vellum or vels, and I'm looking for vellum solver. Click. Now I'm going to play this back. Uh, what will happen is I'll just drop. So hopefully that's what you'll get if you're following this. Um, I'm going to press L now, and that's nice and tidy. So the problem is, in the Forces tab, we've got a gravity effect. 
So we'll zero that out. If you press play now, nothing will happen. Okay, nothing's happened. So what I want to do is attract those spheres into one. Um, so I'm going to dive into this vellum solver node and in the force output here, output force, I'm just going to drag upwards from there, press tab, and type P O P A. So pop attract is what I'm looking for. Click that. That's fine. Now I'm going to press U to go up a level. Double click to go in, U to go back up and press play. You've now created your first vellum imploding balls dynamic. Um, I'm just going to knock this down to 100 frames. Uh, press this um, clock face here and that will enable real time playback. So when I press play, it still needs to cache all the frames. So in a minute, that'll be complete. And then it should play at 25 frames a second. And effectively, you've created your first dynamic. And I really hope you followed that without having to rewatch really parts over and over. Cheers.